Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Welcome, welcome to tonight in the name of Jesus. I welcome you powerfully in the name of Jesus. From any part of the world you are listening to the voice of God through me from, I welcome you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that the Lord God are doing great wonders. We'll meet you at the very point of your need tonight in the name of Jesus. Today is a day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Once again, you are welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. And I say happy fasting to you all in the name of Jesus. I pray that your fasting and prayer will not be in vain in the name of Jesus. Rather, your waiting shall produce an evident result in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, the Lord God of heaven shall meet every one of us at the point of our need in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord God of heaven tonight shall meet every one of us at the point of our needs. And as we pray tonight, heaven will hearken unto our voice in the mighty name of Jesus. As we call unto God tonight, heaven will hear us in the mighty name of Jesus. The theme for tonight's prayer meeting is mercy for miracle. Mercy for miracle. Anybody are listening to God for me from? The theme for the program is mercy for miracle. And I pray that the Lord God of mercy in an unusual way will encounter your life tonight in the name of Jesus. Any part of the world you are listening from, the Lord God are doing great wonders will encounter your life tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's begin to appreciate the name of the Lord tonight. Let's begin to give praise to his holy name. Let's begin to honor him and appreciate him. Let's give him all the praise due to his name, the one that can do all things. Let's thank him for the day one of this program. Let's thank him for the day two. Let's appreciate him for day three, for day four. Thank him for what he did in day five, day six, day seven, day eight, and today day nine. Let's give him all the glory. Let's give him all the honor. Let's appreciate him. He's worthy of our thanks. Come on, open your mouth and appreciate God. Father, we thank you. Father, we worship you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We salute your majesty, the one that can do what no one can do. Accept our thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus. Take a song of your choice and appreciate this great God. From any part of the world you are listening to the voice of God through me, take a song of your choice and give him all the praise. Praise is not just God's demand. Praise is also God's delight. Appreciate God tonight. Father, we thank you. Father, we worship you. Let's appreciate his goodness. Appreciate him for his goodness. Thank him for his mercies. Flesh and blood cannot do this. It's only by his spirit. Please appreciate him. Father, we thank you. Father, we worship you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your kindness. We we'll return all the praise and all the glory back to you. For only you is the one that doeth great wonders. Accept our thanksgiving, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We appreciate you for the gift of life. Thank you for provision. Thank you for every family represented here. We return all the glory to you for protecting each and every one of us, for covering our head in the day of battle. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. You are the immortal. You are the invisible. You are the only wise God. Accept our thanksgiving tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's begin to honor God. Let's appreciate him. Let's honor his holy name. He's our maker. He's our father. He's the keeper of our Israel. Father, we thank you. We appreciate you. Let's thank him because he's good and his mercy is enduring forever. Let's appreciate him. Father, we worship you tonight. We honor you. We lift your holy name on high. Thank you, Jesus. There is none like you. You are the unquestionable God. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Take a song of your choice and sing unto him. Appreciate him. He's the unquestionable God, the mighty one in battle. We bless your name tonight. We salute your majesty. Thank you, Jesus, the captain of our warfare, the captain of our destiny. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we worship you, God. We honor you, God. We salute you, God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I prophesy every situation that has proved difficult in your life either too. Everything proven stubborn in your life. Tonight, let them be terminated. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree with the authority in the name of Jesus, every power contending your peace and your progress, let them be wasted by fire. Let them be wasted by fire. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power that has vowed that you will die in struggle, my, I decree and declare any power at all that has vowed that you will die in struggle. If your amen can be loud tonight, let that power be wasted by fire. Let them be wasted by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power that wants to bring you back into your yesterday, Masuta Liba Kuria that's in the Likabaya. Any power that wants to bring you back into your yesterday, any power that says that your tomorrow will not be alright, I want to take you back into your yesterday. Let that power be destroyed by fire. Let them be destroyed by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for that woman. Every power from your foundation that says you will not exceed your parents, let that power be destroyed by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare the battle that fought your parents and says you are the next in line. If your amen can roar tonight, let that battle be terminated. Let it be terminated. Let it be terminated. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for somebody hearing me. The battle you inherited from your parents, I decree and declare every battle you inherited, the battle you inherited, as though it's something that is tangible, but it's a battle and it's ravaging your life. The battle you use in resembling your parents, if your amen can be loud, tonight, let that battle scatter by fire. Let it scatter by fire. Let it scatter by fire. I decree once again, inherited battle in your life. By the power in the name of Jesus, let that battle scatter to desolation. Let it scatter to desolation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now please pray the following prayer. Say, activity of darkness assigned to control my life. Scatter by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Activity of darkness assigned to disturb my life. Scatter, 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 scatter. Scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus. Activity of darkness assigned to disturb my life. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. In Jesus mighty name we pray somebody needs to increase their tempo and pray this very loud and clear say activity of darkness assigned to work against me by the hand of the lord be terminated be terminated in the mighty name of jesus every activity of darkness assigned to work against me by the hand of jehovah be terminated tonight be terminated tonight in the name of jesus command them to be terminated in the name of jesus activity of darkness assigned to work against me by the hand of the living god be terminated be terminated be terminated be terminated in jesus mighty name we pray say every embargo placed on my destiny be lifted in the name of jesus every embargo placed on my destiny be lifted tonight be lifted tonight be lifted tonight in the mighty name of jesus embargo placed on my destiny be lifted be lifted be lifted every embargo placed on my destiny be lifted tonight be lifted tonight in the mighty name of jesus praise very well every embargo lifted to my destiny be lifted be lifted be lifted be lifted commanded to be lifted in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray maybe you don't understand what an embargo is an embargo is a spiritual load placed on the life of people so that they can't rise when embargo is on something he exerts weight on that thing and they don't really exceed their level with this understanding open your mouth and declare loud and clear say every evil embargo placed on my destiny be lifted now in the name of jesus somebody is praying tonight every evil embargo placed on my destiny be lifted be lifted be lifted be lifted be lifted open your mouth and decree to be lifted pray 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 every evil embargo placed on my destiny placed on my ministry be lifted be lifted be lifted be lifted commanded to be lifted in the name of jesus evil embargo placed on my destiny placed on my career Place on my ministry, place on my finances, be lifted tonight, be lifted tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Be lifted, be lifted in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Say every barrier against my advancement, clear away in the mighty name of Jesus. Every barrier against my going forward, clear, 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 clear away, clear away, clear away, clear away in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil barrier against my going forward, clear away, clear away. Clear away, clear away in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil barrier stopping from going forward. Clear, 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 clear. I command you to clear away in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say, Oh God, arise, show up in my case as a mighty man of war. In the name of Jesus, Oh God, arise, show up in my situation as a mighty man of war. Show up in my situation as a mighty man of war. In the name of Jesus, Oh God, arise, show up in my situation as a mighty man of war in the name of jesus oh god arise tonight show up in my situation as a mighty man of war show up in my ministry show up in my business show up in my career in the name of jesus mention your own area of concern oh god 
shall rise tonight, show up in my situation as a mighty man of war. Show up in my situation as a mighty man of war. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise tonight, show up in my matter as a mighty man of war. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say powers assigned to keep me on the same spot be wasted by fire in the name of jesus every power assigned to keep me on the same spot be wasted be wasted be wasted be wasted by fire be wasted by fire in the name of jesus powers assigned to keep me on the same spot be wasted be wasted be wasted be wasted tonight command them to be wasted in the name of jesus every power assigned to keep me on the same spot be wasted by fire be wasted by fire be wasted by fire in the name of jesus powers assigned to keep me in the same place in life be wasted be wasted command them to be wasted in jesus mighty name we pray in jesus mighty name we pray say oh god arise break the backbone of my stubborn enemies in the name of jesus oh god arise break the backbone of my stubborn enemies in the name of jesus every stubborn pursuer of my destiny oh god arise break their backbone break their backbone break their backbone break their backbone in the name of jesus stubborn pursuers of my destiny arise oh god break their backbone somebody needs to pray this right everywhere oh god arise break the backbone of my stubborn enemies in the name of jesus break the backbone of my stubborn enemies in the mighty name of jesus every enemy of my destiny break their backbone break their backbone in the name of jesus Enemy of my ministry, break their backbone, break their backbone in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise, break the backbone of my stubborn enemies. Somebody needs to praise very well. Oh God, arise, break the backbone of my stubborn enemies in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I decree and declare every stubborn pursuer of your destiny, they shall perish by fire. They shall perish by fire. They shall perish by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, every enemy that says you don't know peace, let them be destroyed tonight. Let them be destroyed tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, anything that is to, to, to disturb your peace tonight, I decree and declare, if your amen can be loud, whatsoever the enemy is using to disturb your peace, let that thing be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, arising from this meeting, if your amen can thunder loud, you will not know trouble anymore. You will not know trouble anymore. In the name of Jesus, somebody hearing me from this meeting, God will give you rest on every side. God will give you rest on every side. By the reason of tonight, God will give you rest on every side. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Praise the living Jesus. Welcome once again in the name of Jesus. If you are just joining us, you are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome powerfully in the name of jesus tonight's theme as i said earlier is mercy for miracle mercy for miracle please very quickly let's turn our bible to the book of exodus chapter sorry i beg your pardon hebrews chapter 4 hallelujah hebrews chapter 4 praise the living jesus hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 mercy for miracle mercy for miracle there is something called mercy in the system of god and one of the assignments of mercy is to turn things around and the you know the the general word for lifting for blessing for turn around for promotion i sum it up in one word and i call it miracle that no matter how bad or pathetic somebody's case might be when the mercy of god comes upon that life it turns it around and the sum total of that word i call it miracle so tonight we are looking at the scripture very quickly hebrews 4 16 Hebrews 4 16 and it says let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need now approaching God beloved according to the scripture should be with boldness hallelujah and when we approach God with boldness it means we have an assurance that when we call on God he hears us we have an assurance according to this scripture that when we call on our father he listens to us this boldness beloved has nothing to do with what you have done or what you will do the boldness in question has nothing to do with what you do or what you have done or what you will do it only has to do with what christ has done this boldness is on account of the finished work of christ on calvary and so it's not by works he says let us therefore come boldly so that boldness is what gives you assurance that when you call on God, He answers you. Like my four-year-old 
when she needs biscuits she comes with every confidence sometimes i even busy she drags your hand and takes you there like you have no choice so bible is saying that come with boldness hallelujah on account of what christ has settled on the cross let us therefore come with boldness hallelujah unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find help in time of the beloved this is an open invitation this is an open invitation for us and so when we pray we are confident that god hears us in prayer therefore we can pray with confidence because we know that our father will hear us and that is the mentality i want us to carry going forward whether in this meeting throughout these 30 days and afterwards this is the mentality that we should carry that when we talk to our father he hears us and he hears us very very well as you cry unto the lord tonight heaven we hacking onto your voice heaven we hacking onto your voice in the mighty name of jesus in psalm 89 verse 13 the bible says for great is thy mercy towards me and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell what does this tell me it means that the mercy of god activates speedy deliverance it means when somebody receives mercy it activates speedy deliverance i prophesy every miracle you have been believing god for receive it tonight receive it tonight in the mighty name of jesus every pending miracle and testimony in your life let them manifest tonight let them manifest tonight in the name of jesus i decree and declare the success that your natural ability cannot achieve somebody needs to say a loud amen to this one the success the achievement that your natural ability cannot achieve by the mercy of god receive it tonight receive it tonight receive it tonight in the mighty name of jesus the greatness that nobody has ever experienced in your family the achievement nobody has ever had in your lineage by the mercy of god you will be the one to pioneer it i say you'll be the one to pioneer it in the name of jesus the eyes nobody has ever attained in your generation you will be the first to get there by the mercy of god what no one has ever done for good in your family you will be the first person to do it you will be the first to do it in the name of jesus now in Acts chapter 4 Acts chapter 4 the bible says but when they had commanded them to go aside now Acts of apostles chapter 4 verse 16 but when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council they confide among themselves 16 saying what shall we do to this man for that indeed a notable miracle hallelujah that indeed a notable miracle have been done by them and is manifest to all that dwell in jerusalem and we cannot deny it now it says a notable miracle has been done by them and is made manifest to all that dwell in jerusalem and we cannot deny it there are testimonies that men can deny that it did not happen there are some men can just say let's go that way it didn't happen we didn't see it. but there are some testimony bible call it a notable miracle and not only that it cannot be denied i prophesy before this month is over an evident testimony that will manifest to the world to see let it happen in your life let it happen in your life in the name of jesus if your amen can be loud testimony that will make news let it happen in your life in the mighty name of jesus i say testimony that will make the news if your amen can be loud receive it tonight receive it tonight in the mighty name of jesus i prophesy that every testimony that you have been expecting it at all by the mercy of god it shall manifest tonight it shall manifest tonight in the name of jesus i decree and declare result that will silence your adversaries somebody needs to say a loud amen to this one the result that will silence your enemy by the mercy of god receive it tonight receive it tonight receive it tonight in the mighty name of jesus every mountain of trouble challenging god in your life i pray for that sister i pray for that brother every mountain of trouble challenging god in your life let that mountain scatter tonight let it scatter tonight let it scatter tonight in the name of jesus now pray this prayer loud and clear say battles like mountain before my life scatter by fire in the mighty name of jesus mountains in my life scatter 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 in the mighty name of jesus every battle like mountains before my life scatter to desolation scatter to desolation in the name of jesus battles like mountains before my life scatter 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 by fire scatter by fire command them to scatter in the name of jesus battles like mountain in my life scatter to desolation scatter to desolation in jesus mighty name we pray say powers are signs to frustrate my life die in the name of jesus powers are signs to frustrate me die die 
da, 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 da. In the mighty name of Jesus, powers assigned to frustrate my life. Da, 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 da. In Jesus. Mighty name, we pray. Say, Oh God, arise, torment my tormentors in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise, torment my tormentors, torment my tormentors in the name of Jesus. Torment my tormentors in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, arise, torment my tormentors, torment my tormentors in the mighty name of Jesus. Arise, oh God, torment my tormentors in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, arise, pursue my pursuers, pursue my pursuers in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, arise, disturb my disturbers in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, arise, torment my tormentors in the mighty name of Jesus. Disgrace my disgrace in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, arise, torment my tormentors, torment my tormentors in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Listen, when God fights your battle, hallelujah, those that are harassing you, they will be the one to be running from you. When God arises and show you mercy, those that are harassing you, they will be the one to be running from you. I want you to pray that prayer again loud and clear. There are cases in life that people are tormented by power stronger than them. But when God steps into the matter, He changes the narrative. Say, Oh God, arise, torment my tormentors in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, arise, torment my tormentors, torment my tormentors in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, arise, disgrace my disgrace in the name of Jesus. Arise, oh God. Disgrace my disgrace, disgrace my disgrace in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say, stop on enemies of my advancement. Be wasted by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every stubborn enemy of my going forward, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus. Stubborn enemies of my advancement, be wasted by fire, be wasted by fire, be wasted by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Stubborn enemies of my advancement, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted by fire, be wasted by fire, be wasted by fire in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Listen, tonight, I want you to guard yourself very, very well. Be ready to pray tonight. God is set to do something powerful. I was going to do a teaching on capacity, but then I thought in my spirit, let's flow in the energy of the spirit. Hallelujah. Let's flow in that frequency of power. And so we are praying tonight. I want you to pray with understanding and with every strength inside of you. Now, in Mark chapter 4, hallelujah. In Mark chapter 4, verse 10. Sorry, Mark chapter 10, I beg your pardon. Mark chapter 10 from verse 46 to 47. Gospel according to St. Mark chapter 10 verse 46 to verse 47. The Bible says, and they came to Jericho. Now listen to this. And they came to Jericho and as he went out of Jericho with his disciples, a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the wayside begging. Now pay attention to this man's name. Blind Bartimaeus the son of Timaeus sat by the wayside begging 47 and when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth he began to cry loud and say Jesus thou son of David have mercy upon me now it's so it's so it's so um you know disheartening when you ask yourself to pray and shout and some tell you that what's the big deal you don't have to shout Jesus is not dead listen it's because you have not seen situation this is a man here that was desperate for a miracle. He needed the father and mother of miracle at the same time. And Bible said he shouted, Thou son of David, have mercy upon me. It was mercy that opened the eyes of this man. It was the mercy of God that opened the eyes of this man. Listen to his request. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. He didn't even say open my eyes. He didn't say give me money. He didn't say give me house. He knew that even house money you know recovery of sight everything is summed up in mercy hallelujah everything is summed up in the mercy of god when a man receives the mercy of god it's a total package so this guy had understanding he didn't ask for money he didn't say i want my sight he said thou son of david have mercy upon me so it was mercy that opened the eyes of this man how do i know naturally everything was against him the word bar means son of Hallelujah. And Timaeus means unclean. So Bartimaeus means son of unclean. Allegorically, it means spiritual blindness. And on the natural, the guy was even blind. 
and according to the Jewish culture, they have nothing to do with anything unclean. They will say it's ceremonially unclean. If you are a Bible student, you would have known what I'm talking about. So according to the Jewish culture, they don't have anything to do with uncleanness. Even when they come back from the market, Bible says they wash their hand. The cup they use, they rinse it. They are very, they are, they are people I can call, uh, their second name is cleansing. They are very, very peculiar about cleanliness. And here is the man. His name naturally means son of unclean. The word Timios in the Hebrew language means unclean, Brr, means son of. So everything was against this man. And if at all anybody should be ignored, it should have been this man. If it was, there was anyone that should not have been answered, it should have been him. But Mercy said no. Mercy said no. They were other people following Jesus that day. They also needed help, but they didn't have understanding and the mystery of this uh, of this mystery called mercy. They needed their case to change. They also needed help, but they lacked understanding as to the mystery behind the mercy of God. So they only became spectators and they were following Jesus. I pray for somebody hearing me tonight. Anywhere the, the enemy has polluted your life, anywhere the enemy has polluted your journey, by the mercy of God, let there be a cleansing. Let there be a cleansing. Let there be a cleansing. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy, if the enemy has crippled anything that you need for achievement, somebody to say very loud amen to this, if the enemy has crippled your means of achievement, tonight by the mercy of God, let it be repaired. Let it be repaired. Let it be repaired. In the mighty name of Jesus, as many who have been spiritually crippled and there's really nothing to do, they can't really go forward. They are very good people. They are well-meaning. They want to advance in life. But because they are crippled spiritually, they can't really go forward. I pray for as many here tonight in that situation, by the mercy of God, receive your legs now. Receive your legs now. In the mighty name of Jesus, as many whose eyes have been close to ritually as many who have been blinded by the enemy by the mercy of god let the eyes be open now let those eyes be open now in the mighty name of jesus as many hearing me that the enemy has blinded you to your breakthrough the enemy has closed your eyes to your opportunity to your breakthrough your testimony as many who have been blindfolded to their helpers by the mercy of god let your understanding open now let your understanding open now in the mighty name of jesus now please pray this prayer loud and clear say thou eyes of my understanding open by fire in the name of jesus thou eyes of my understanding open 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 in the name of jesus you eyes of my understanding open by fire open by fire open by fire in the name of jesus you eyes of my understanding open by fire open by fire open by fire open by fire in the name of jesus eyes of my understanding open by fire open by fire in jesus mighty name we pray say oh god arise let in my ignorance increase my awareness in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Dead in my ignorance. Increase my awareness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody to pray that prayer loud and clear. Oh God, arise. Dead in my ignorance. Increase my awareness. Dead in my ignorance. Increase my awareness. In the name of Jesus. Dead in my ignorance. Increase my awareness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Dead in my ignorance. Increase my awareness. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Mighty name, we pray. Somebody needs to pray this one loud and clear. Say, anything planted in my life, scaring away my helpers, be destroyed tonight in the name of Jesus. Anything in my life, sending away my helpers, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything planted in my life, sending my helpers away from me, be destroyed tonight, be destroyed tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything in my life, repelling my helpers. Be destroyed tonight. Be destroyed tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatsoever that's implanted in my life, sending my helpers away. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed tonight. Be destroyed tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say, Oh Lord, my Father, single me out for a major miracle. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, single me out tonight for a major miracle. Sing with me out tonight for a major blessing in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, sing with me out for a major miracle in the name of Jesus. Sing with me out tonight. Sing with me out tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Sing with me out for a major miracle. Sing with me out for a major miracle in Jesus' mighty name. We pray in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Listen, mercy of God is very powerful. The mercy of God is very, very powerful. In Isaiah 55, verse 3. Isaiah 55 verse 3 and Acts 13 34. It took the mercy of God, hallelujah, the mercy of God. And he was talking about the sure mercy of David, the sure mercy of David. So it was mercy, hallelujah, that established the throne of David. It was the mercy of God 
that established the throne of David, the mercy of God took him from the sheepfold and relocated him to the palace. This is what the mercy of God can do. He was a nobody among his brethren. He was the least esteemed. In fact, when the brothers went to their house and said, is this all your children? The man even didn't even recognize, I mean, he didn't really pay attention to him. They said, gather your children, and there was one missing. The man did not realize. Until the man of God said, are these all your sons? He said, oh, 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 there, there is still one. Um, um, he's, he's on the field, but you know, he's the last one. Don't really bother about him. For mercy said no. So mercy took David out of the sheepfold and relocated it to the palace. Mercy did, mercy did not stop there. Mercy also established his throne. Mercy sustained his throne. I pray for somebody hearing me tonight. I don't care how humble your background is. By the mercy of God, you will be established. You will be established in the name of jesus i don't care how humble your background is but by the mercy of god you shall be established you shall be established in the name of jesus by the mercy of god all your good plans for this year they shall come to pass they shall come to pass in the mighty name of jesus the team is mercy for miracle mercy for miracle when a man receives mercy it does not matter how pathetic his case might be it turns it around a miracle happens at the instance of mercy i pray for you by the covenant of the judgment of david if your amen can be loud in your marriage in your business in your ministry you shall be established you shall be established in the name of jesus by the mercy of god every good thing he has upon it shall prosper it shall prosper it shall prosper in the name of jesus now lift the verse god and shout it like this say oh god arise establish me by your mercy in the name of jesus oh god arise establish me by your mercy in the mighty name of jesus oh god arise establish me tonight by your mercy establish me by your mercy establish me by your mercy in the name of jesus establish me in ministry establish me in business in career establish me in the mighty name of jesus be specific mention your own area in my ministry in my business oh god arise establish me establish me establish me declare with boldness tonight remember the scripture we started with declare with confidence declare with boldness oh god arise establish me establish my job establish my work in the name of jesus establish my marriage in the mighty name of jesus oh god arise establish me tonight by your mercy establish me by your mercy establish me by your mercy in jesus mighty name we pray in jesus mighty name we pray the mercy of god is very powerful hallelujah the mercy of god is powerful mercy is one system in the economy of god available for the advantage of the believer mercy is a major system in the economy of god available for the advantage of the believer and so what is mercy mercy can be defined as a compassion or forgiveness shown towards someone whom it is within your power to punish or harm mercy can be defined as the compassion or forgiveness shown towards someone whom it is within your power to punish them or to harm them little wonder the bible says in the book of james that mercy triumphs over judgment mercy triumphs over judgment the bible is very complete so even where judgment awaits you the mercy of god can overrule it where judgment is waiting for you the mercy of god can annul that judgment i pray for you tonight anywhere judgment is waiting for you by the mercy of god let it be overruled let it be overruled let it be overruled in the mighty name of jesus anywhere judgment is waiting for you whether in your marriage whether in ministry whether even in the system i decree and declare by the mercy of god let it be overruled let it be overruled in the name of jesus i prophesy as many who are under the yoke of evil judgment by the mercy of god let that yoke break and scatter let that yoke break and scatter as many under the yoke of evil judgment let that yoke break and scatter let that yoke break and scatter in the mighty name of jesus every mistake of the past sponsoring pain in your present somebody needs to cry a loud amen to this one every mistake of the past sponsoring praise in your pain in your presence by the mercy of god let it come to an end tonight let it come to an end tonight in the name of jesus every mistake of the past that is causing problem in your presence by the mercy of god let it come to an end let it come to an end now please pray this very loud and clear say evil judgment assigned against me 
by the mercy of God be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Every evil judgment assigned against me be cancelled tonight. Be cancelled tonight. Be cancelled tonight in the name of Jesus. Evil judgment assigned against me by the mercy of God be cancelled tonight. Be cancelled tonight. Be cancelled tonight in the name of Jesus. Evil judgment assigned against me. Evil judgment issued against me by the mercy of God be cancelled tonight. Open and pray it very well. Pray it loud and clear. Every evil judgment assigned against me by the mercy of God be cancelled tonight. Be cancelled tonight in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say covenant judgment, covenant decisions passed against my life by the mercy of God be nullified in the name of Jesus. Covenant judgment, covenant decisions passed against my life by the mercy of God be nullified. Be nullified, be nullified, be nullified in the name of Jesus. Coven judgment, coven decisions passed against my life by the mercy of God. Be nullified, be nullified, be nullified in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Maybe you don't know a coven is a gathering, is a place of the gathering of the witches. Hallelujah. A coven is where witches gather to have their meeting. So I want you, to, I want you to pray with understanding. There are people that they issue coven judgment against them. Maybe you don't know. Perhaps you've lived in the Western world for a very long time, and this thing sounds very, very alien to you. There are people that gather at night. They hold meeting and they make decision upon the destiny of people. There is a garden where the only thing they understand there is evil perpetually. There is a garden where the only thing they understand there is to make men to cry. There is a garden where they take the person on the horse, they put him down and carry the one on the foot and put him on the horse. There is a garden. In that garden, they don't understand forgiveness. There is a garden. Their wickedness cannot be pacified. Time will not permit me. I would have showed you scriptures in Ezekiel where, where, there, where the scripture shows us example of evil garden. A covenant is a place where they gather, where witches gather, and they have their meeting. I want you to pray with understanding tonight, with only anger inside of you. Say covenant judgment, covenant decisions passed against my life by the mercy of God. Be nullified, be nullified in the name of Jesus. Covenant decisions, covenant judgment passed against my life by the mercy of God. Be nullified, be nullified, be nullified, be nullified, be nullified in the name of Jesus. Every covenant judgment, every covenant decision against my life by the mercy of God. Be nullified, be nullified, be nullified, be nullified in Jesus' mighty name. We pray in Jesus' mighty name. We pray, say, from the enemy stronger than me, mercy of God, deliver me in the mighty name of Jesus from every enemy stronger than me. Mercy of God, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me in the mighty name of Jesus. Mercy of God, deliver me in the mighty name of Jesus from every enemy stronger than me. Mercy of God, deliver me. Mercy of God, set me free. Mercy of God, deliver me in the name of Jesus from every enemy stronger than me. Mercy of God, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me in Jesus mighty name we pray say negative pronouncement ravaging my destiny by the mercy of god be terminated in the name of jesus every negative word fighting my destiny be terminated be terminated be terminated negative pronouncement fighting my destiny by the mercy of god be terminated tonight be terminated tonight in the name of jesus negative declaration fighting my life be terminated be terminated be terminated in jesus mighty name we pray hear me there are those who, listen in the in the in the in the dark kingdom hallelujah what they use in fighting is the word this is why a believer must be very very grounded in the world hallelujah you must be very very firm and solid in the word of god because even in the occultic realm in the dark kingdom what they use in fighting is words if you're from my country and you normally watch epic movie when two powerful people are fighting they begin to fight with incantation evil words this time around not the word of god they begin to rain incantation when that one says his own that one will say his own. the one that runs out of word is a loser and the next thing you hear the one that has more words satanic word this time around and say yeah fall down and die and the person falls down and die words are powerful the bible says the word of god is powerful is quick and powerful sharper than any two-edged sword piercing into the bone and the marrow it goes beyond the realm of the flesh alone hallelujah but say it pierces into the soul and the marrow divided between the soul and the and, 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 and the marrow he says it's the center of thought and the intent of the heart the, the word of god can extract your life to the extent where doctors cannot go to doctors can see your bone they can see your marrow 
but they can't see your spirit and they can't see your soul but the word of god can go to that realm this is why the word of god is powerful so in the satanic world when they want to fight they use words to fight i want you to pray with understanding a man in scripture used negative word upon his son now negative word can come from anywhere from enemy from your friends even your parents when they are angry about you but to all intent and purpose a negative word is a negative word in the book of genesis Jacob said, gather yourself together, oh ye sons of Jacob, that might tell you what will happen after now. And he began to talk, say, Reuben, that art my firstborn, excellency of strength, dignity of power, but as stable as water, thou shalt not excel. And that thing troubled Reuben from Genesis. Now, you need to understand that Bible is not written in, in a chronological manner. From the book of Genesis to the book of um, um, what's it called? Leviticus, when Moses now later had to reverse that call. That thing fought Reuben. Even after Reuben was long gone, his generation did not have inheritance. In Jacob, it was given to Joseph, the, the, the younger brother, because of a negative word. I don't know where they have used negative word against your destiny, but I decree and declare tonight, by the mercies of God, every negative word ravaging your destiny, let it be terminated. Let it be terminated. Let it be terminated. Let your amen roar like thunder. In the name of Jesus, now open my and pray that prayer loud and clear. Say negative pronouncement, ravaging my destiny. By the mercy of God, be terminated. In the name of Jesus, negative pronouncement, ravaging my destiny. Be terminated. Be terminated. In the name of Jesus, negative pronouncement, ravaging my life. Be terminated. Be terminated. By the mercy of God, be terminated. Be terminated. Be terminated. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Oh my God, our time is fast spent. Now, in the book of Acts of Apostles, Hallelujah. Something happened there. Amen. Acts of Apostles chapter 3 from verse 1 to 9. We see a very powerful story there. This, you know, this story of this man is a very sad one. But mercy turned things around for him. It's a very sad story. But the mercy of God turned things around. Acts chapter 3 from verse 1 to 9. Acts of Apostles chapter 3 from verse 1 to 9. Hallelujah. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer. Being the ninth hour. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb. A certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful, to ask of arms them that entered into the temple. Look at this kind of situation. Lame from his mother's womb. Before he was born, his destiny was already altered. Bible says he was lame from his mother's womb. When other kids were running around, this guy could not run around. When they were playing, he could not play with them. He could not even ride bicycle. Even he couldn't go on the swing. And that bad situation was with him till he grew. And he was still not independent. His destiny was literally dependent on people all his life. He couldn't do anything. And they had, they had to carry me in the morning and go and drop him. They would go and pick him in the night. May you not become a liability to your family. May you not become a liability to your family and friends. May you not become a liability in the name of jesus so they will go and drop him in the morning he will ask of him at a point they were fed up of him hallelujah he literally has to depend on family and look you need to also for yourself we can't keep feeding you and so the guy resorted into begging so they'll go and drop him in the morning ask for hams in the evening he will close they will go and carry him guy how much did you make today since he was at their mercy he could not do anything he still has to give them the money his life was literally dependent on people destiny was stagnated he could not go forward by himself i prophesy as many women the battle of life has stagnated as many hearing me tonight and the battle of life has stagnated in one position by the mercy of god i command your movement i command your movement in the name of jesus anywhere battle has stopped you in destiny today i declare and declare as an apostle of god receive movement receive movement in the name of jesus as many under the affliction of the enemy tonight in the name of jesus let mercy set you free let mercy set you free in the mighty name of jesus as many under the affliction of the wicked by the mercy of god receive your freedom receive your freedom in the name of jesus now see this situation verse 3 he said bible says see he who seen peter about to go into the temple asked arms and peter fastened his eyes upon him with john and they said unto him look at us and he gave it unto them expecting to receive something of them now know this very very well beloved one of the prerequisites for receiving miracle and the mercy of god is to really have an expectant heart hallelujah one of the prerequisites of receiving the mercy of god is to have an expectant hand is to be expectant the grace of god does not flow in the direction of strength no 
my grace is sufficient for you in weakness the bible says so anytime the grace senses strength it does not flow in that direction hallelujah thank god this man had expectation even though he was probably expecting money but mercy says guy hold on i'm giving you something more than money hallelujah the mercy came into play i'm giving you something more than money <laughs> i am giving you something more than money somebody tonight something is coming upon your life that money cannot come in the name of jesus he says i will give you something that you'll be spending for the rest of your life because you see listen below anything of eternal value is not physical hallelujah anything of eternal value is not physical i can give you a car and the car can get damaged tomorrow i can give you two million pounds that doesn't mean you'll be rich forever you can still get poor and be broke have you not seen men that win lottery 20 million pounds give them two years down the line they are back on the street but there is something hallelujah when god releases mercy upon your life you can spend it for the rest of your life when God gives you mercy, you, is a currency. You can spend it for the rest of your life. How many hear me tonight knows that the mercy of God is a currency that carries the same value anywhere in the world, regardless of your color or your level or your race. The mercy of God is a currency. It carries value any location in the world, regardless of your status. If you don't believe me, go and ask Joseph. He was a stranger in Egypt. But when his mercy came to play, he became a prime minister. I pray for you what your father has never achieved what your mother never achieved by the mercy of god it shall start from you it shall start from you it shall start from you in the name of jesus i prophesy every door that i just cannot open every door that your strength cannot open naturally by the mercy of god let it open for you tonight let it open for you tonight in the mighty name of jesus now pray this prayer loud and clear say oh god my father release unto my life that will make me to be announced in my generation in the mighty name of jesus let something come on my life that will make my generation to celebrate me in the name of jesus oh god my father release upon my life what will cause me to be celebrated in the mighty name of jesus let something come on my life tonight in the mighty name of jesus oh lord my father release upon me what will cause men to celebrate me in the name of jesus oh lord my father release upon my life the grace that will cause me to be celebrated in the name of jesus let your grace oh god let your mercy oh god come upon my life and cause me to be celebrated in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray in jesus mighty name we pray hallelujah now something is very very important in this way i want you to please pay attention hallelujah verse says then peter said silver and gold i have none hallelujah <laughs> silver and gold i have none now it looks like a bad news oh he was expecting money or silver but say silver and gold i have not but listen all hope is not love such as i have i give you i told you before anything of eternal value is not physical he then says in the name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth rise up and walk and he took him by the hand and he lifted him up and immediately aha, immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength eight and he leaping up stood one and walked two and entered with them into the temple three walking and leaping and praising god four and five now verse nine watch this <laughs> oh hallelujah this is very very powerful now watch this he's been sitting in front of that temple for only god knows how many years had the privilege to enter into the temple for many years he was sitting in front of that temple he never had the privilege of entering in fact bible says he sits at the gates called beautiful but there was nothing beautiful about his life all his life he was seeing beauty but there was nothing beautiful about his life all his life he was in the temple his space was in the temple hallelujah his own seat was there but he did not have legs to walk into the temple oh my god i prophesy as many of you hear me tonight you carry glory but there's no leg to walk into your glory receive that leg now receive that leg now in the name of jesus as many will carry glory but has no leg to walk into their glory receive the leg now receive the leg now in the name of jesus those of you who are looking at good things at close proximity but it has never become your reality i decree and declare by the mercy of god receive it now receive it now receive it now in the name of jesus people know you live abroad hallelujah you are exposed in the western world you see opportunities you see privilege but it's not been translated to anything major in your life if your amen can roar like thunder i decree and declare from now begin to achieve great things begin to achieve great things in the mighty name of jesus for somebody who can say a loud amen from where Pastor has kept you stagnated by the mercy of God, anywhere that you have been relegated in destiny, by the mercy of God, we lift you up tonight. We lift you up tonight. We lift you up tonight in the name of Jesus. You know, there are people whose life just appear to be good. Hallelujah. 
their life appears to be good maybe because of their location you know people see them on social media because they live maybe in america canada or in the uk their stature maybe because of their stature they look very very nice six pack or their figure eight as it were they carry themselves in a very good manner they even wear nice makeup and nice wear hallelujah but deep down battle is ravaging their, their life deep down deep down below that clothes there is battle ravaging their life and they, they remain a barren person but because of carry people does not know now barren does not only mean a woman who has no child barrenness is a spiritual is a spiritual situation in fact in spiritual context barrenness is activity without productivity activity without productivity that is barrenness there are people their life is full of activity you see them on social media platforms you see them they are full of activity but there is no tangible achievement or result to show for it they are all over the place they are so loud they are full of activity they work like jacquard but there's really no productivity i pray for you any area in your life where you have been unfruitful by the mercy of god you will be fruitful from now you shall be fruitful you shall be fruitful in the name of jesus as you listen to me now i want you to cry for the mercy of god as you are hearing me tonight i want you to cry for the mercy of god our scripture says let us therefore come boldly to the throne of mercy that we might obtain grace come boldly to the throne of mercy the bible says let us come boldly to the throne of mercy and find grace for help i want you to pray the prayer loud and clear by asking for mercy say yoke of barrenness in my life by the mercy of god break and scatter in the name of jesus yoke of barrenness in my life break and scatter 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 in the name of jesus yoke of barrenness in my life break and scatter break and scatter in jesus mighty name we pray say long time barrenness in my life by the mercy of god be terminated be terminated be terminated be terminated in the name of jesus long time barrenness in my life be terminated be terminated be terminated in jesus mighty name we pray mercy of god makes prayer to answer very speedily mercy of god makes able to pay attention to us mercy of god is the benevolence of god in expression from genesis to revelation there is no one that really cries for mercy and god ignores them nobody cries for mercy and god ignores them i pray for you anywhere you have been altered in life by the mercy of god i command restoration in the mighty name of jesus i pray for you every prayer you have prayed tonight by the mercy of god let them be answered let them be answered in the name of jesus any part that has vowed that your prayer will not be answered any part that has vowed that prayer will not stop your case i decree and declare let those be wasted by fire let them be wasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Now, finally tonight, I want you to open your mouth and cry to God. Say, thou mercy of God, turn my expectation to manifestation. In the name of Jesus, mercy of God, turn my expectation to manifestation. In the mighty name of Jesus, mercy of God, turn my expectation to manifestation. In the mighty name of Jesus, thou mercy of God, turn my expectation to manifestation. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I pray for you in the name above every other name. What prayer has been unable to answer in your life? What you have been looking for with tears? What you have been crying about, fasting and praying? And it seems as though as you pray, the problem intensifies. I decree and declare tonight, by the mercy of God, let God answer you. Let God answer you. In the name of Jesus, every of your long time requests, by the mercy of God, receive them tonight receive them tonight receive them tonight in the mighty name of jesus what men have written off in your life by the mercy of god let it be corrected let it be corrected in the name of jesus i mean if a man that was born lame can be helped many years after i pray for you everything that seems impossible in your life by the mercy of god let it become possible let it become possible in the name of jesus thank you heavenly father in jesus mighty name we pray in jesus mighty name we pray praise the living jesus hallelujah amen thank you everyone thank you everyone god bless you powerfully in the name of jesus i i appreciate you for taking out the time to join this meeting tonight out of your busy schedule i give god the glory for your life amen thank you so much for taking our time to join us tonight if you are joining us for the very first time on this platform this is what a life mission and ministries international prayer platform we welcome you in the name of jesus and we we pray that today's blessing shall be permanent in your life in jesus name we we'll love to see you again in our midst 
until you become a part of the family. You are a guest just only once, and after today, you are part of the family. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you um, as we see you again more often in the name of Jesus. I want to encourage every one of us to please invite somebody for um, our meetings, share the links with them, and let them be a part of what God is doing. And the Lord bless you as you do so in the name of Jesus. The fasting and prayer continues. It's day nine today. Hallelujah. We give God the glory. Amen. God will strengthen us to finish well in Jesus. If we began well, we shall finish well. And we shall finish strong. The Bible says, even though our outward man perishes, but our inward man is renewed day by day, day by day. I pray for uncommon strength to finish well. The Lord give it to you in the name of Jesus. Receive uncommon strength to finish well in the name of Jesus. And at the end of these 30 days, I told you last Friday that when a woman is pregnant and she, it's like he's traveling, but what justifies the end or the means or the pain is when she brings forth. So the Bible says, travail is likened unto a woman in child labor, but when she's bring forth, her joy is full. The theme of this program is push. Pray until something happens. As you are traveling now, I pray that your miracle will be battered. Your miracle shall be battered and it will not be aborted in the name of Jesus. Thank you very much once again. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I was going to do a teaching today on capacity, but I decided to leave it to next, uh, maybe some weeks after the program, because you see, as a servant of God, you need to understand the energy of the Spirit. Amen. The requirement for the hour is to push. And so I decided to leave the teaching to when is our normal service. So apologies, we're expecting for me to teach tonight. Um, I decided to leave it the way it is for us to go and flow in the frequency of power as opposed to um, introducing the dimension of teaching. So please apologies, we're expecting me to teach tonight and I couldn't teach. I believe you've been blessed by the prayers and by the word and I pray that your testimonies have be permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, I want to encourage you, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please kindly do so now kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and you know share and comment on the videos if you've been blessed. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Also please follow us on Instagram and follow us on Facebook. I don't think we are on Twitter yet or I was the other one. Um what's the last one that's come up for children now. Um what's it called again? I've forgotten the name. There's one other one. Um, I'm trying to remember that one. We are not on that one yet but very soon we're gonna be um, on that one. I'm not a social media person. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you very much again. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you in the mighty name of Jesus. As you go into this weekend, the TikTok, that's the one. Thank you very much. God bless you. As you go into the weekend, the Lord go with you in the mighty name of Jesus. The hand of God will rest upon you and everything you have received tonight, it shall be permanent in the name of Jesus. The mercy you have received shall bat multiple miracles in your life in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Shall we please share the grace in fellowship? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the earth of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please, the program continues on Monday by the grace of God, by the special grace of God. We shall be meeting again on Monday night. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we shall be meeting, and as the Lord promised me we shall meet on Saturdays as well. But for now, we are meeting Mondays. Wednesdays and Friday throughout the period of this fasting and prayer we shall be praying until something happens and our lives will never remain the same I assure you by the integrity of God that our lives will not remain the same thank you very much once again have a wonderful weekend